I do not own the rights to this music. Hello and welcome to Sunday School Summary with Brother Ron. Sunday School lesson for Sunday, February the 25th, 2024. Our reference material for the Sunday School Summary is based upon the International Sunday School Lesson Series as published by the Sunday School Publishing Board. We are discussing Faith That Pleases God as the title of the Winter Lesson Series and is a series of lessons that reviews the nature and applications of faith and provides examples and observations of faith in action as applied to our relationships and our daily lives. The Faith That Pleases God lesson series is categorized into three units or groups of lessons and we are in unit three and we are discussing the righteous live by faith. And these lessons continue our discussion of faith by illustrating how the righteous live by faith as evident in Habakkuk's prophecy in today's lesson. The title of our fourth and final lesson in the Unit 3 Winter 2023-24 lesson series is titled Waiting and Trusting God. Waiting and Trusting. We have to have the patience to wait on the Lord that he will work his will in his appointed time. Habakkuk verse, chapter 2 verse 3 is our key verse for today's lesson and it reads, The revelation awaits an appointed time. It speaks at the end and will not prove false. Though it linger, wait for it. It will certainly come and it will not delay. So according to Habakkuk is that we have to be patient and wait and God's will will prevail in God's time and it will be right on time. The title explained today's lesson, Waiting and Trusting from the book of Habakkuk. The book of Habakkuk covers the prophecy of the Old Testament prophet and in this book, Habakkuk complained twice to God. Habakkuk asked God why good people must suffer. And Habakkuk also asked God why cruel people seem to succeed. Habakkuk had prophesied during the spiritual and moral decline of the southern kingdom of Judah before the Babylonian invasion. He complained that the rulers of his country were evil and wicked in their spiritual and moral decline. God replied that soldiers from Babylon would attack these wicked rulers at God's appointed time. But Habakkuk complained to God again. And Habakkuk questioned how God allows cruel people to attack good people. Which brings us to today's lesson. There are two summary lesson points for today. Faith waits expectantly. And that's from Habakkuk chapter 2 verses 1 through 3. Faith triumphs, faith trusts triumphantly. And that's from Habakkuk chapter 2, verses 4 and 5. The passages for the lesson today revolve around the key words faith, wisdom, prophet, and vision. Now we know that faith is the complete trust, assurance, belief, or confidence in God. And Habakkuk says it is a patient to trust God in today's lesson. 
Wisdom is the ability to apply experience, knowledge, and understanding to produce good judgment. It is the wisdom of Habakkuk to wait and to trust God in today's lesson. Prophet is one who speaks the will of God through divine inspiration as the prophet Habakkuk in today's lesson. Vision, it's a divine communication revealed from God, such as the vision received by the prophet Habakkuk in today's lesson in response to his questions to God. Our first summary point is faith waits expectantly from Habakkuk chapter 2 verses 1 through 3. And in these passages, Habakkuk complains to the Lord about the evil and spiritual decline of Judah prior to the Babylonian captivity, the wrongdoing of the children of Israel, and he waits for his answer from the Lord. And the Lord answered him. Habakkuk said, I stand at my place on the wall of the city. I will watch from there. I will wait to see what God will say to me. I have complained to him, and now I will see how he answers me. So Habakkuk has complained about the people, the spiritual decline of the people, and he is waiting for some sign from God that he hears his concerns. The Lord answered Habakkuk, and he said, First of all, he said, write down what I show you. And that is the vision that he revealed to Habakkuk. And he says, make it very clear on the page when you write it. Then someone can easily read it and he can tell the message to other people. So God wanted Habakkuk to be clear and concise as to what his message to the children of Israel was. And he says... <clears throat> that what I will show to you must happen at the time that I have decided. He says it's a future time, but it will certainly happen. And as he said, it may not happen very soon, but you have to be patient. What I show you will certainly happen at the right time. So wait for it. So we cannot be impatient and get ahead of God's plan. We have to Rely on our faith to accept God's will, that he will act in God's time. Faith triumphs, faith trusts triumphantly. And that's from Habakkuk chapter 2, verses 4 and 5. And in these passages, Habakkuk proclaims that good people must trust God and that faith always wins out when we trust God. And he says, look now, the enemy is very proud and this is God speaking, they do not want to do what is right, but righteous people will live because of their faith in God. He says, wine will destroy that proud enemy. They do not stop attacking people. They never have enough for themselves. They are like death that is so hungry that it eats as much as it can. The deep hole of death eats everyone and everything. The cruel enemy is like that. They want all the nations to belong to them. They catch everyone to be their prisoners. So this is God commenting on the Babylonians, which he is going to allow to attack Israel because of their disobedience. And he says that they are, yes, cruel people, but they are full of themselves because they think only of themselves and not of others. But God says that we must have faith even in the face of evil people and evil doers. This is Brother Ron with the Sunday School Lesson for Sunday, February the 25th, 2024. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed week and we hope to see you next Sunday for another edition of Sunday School Summary with Brother Ron.